Hello, I am Leslie Villano Plazic, author of The Audacious Adventures of Zazu Plaz, part time superhero, full time mom, new book out on Amazon, and I would like to welcome you back or for the first time to the Zazu Plaz April video challenge. Today is day 23, April 23rd, 2020. 2020. Yes, what a year it has been so far. <laughs> I'm just going to move you over a little bit here so I can talk to you. Look at you. Where are you? There you are. That's better. Hi. Okay. So today, um, I have been noticing that there are a lot of wild animals out there. My friend has a family, a, she lives out in the country and toward Holland. She's got a family of foxes living under her shed. <laughs> I just saw my usual squirrel and a bunch of birds in our backyard and, uh, the other night we heard a coyote. So uh, people are noticing. Oh, Welcome. I am Leslie Billado Plazic, author of The Audacious Adventures of Zazu Plaz, part time superhero, full time mom, and I'd like to welcome you today to day 23 of the April Zazu Plaz video challenge. Um, and today's theme, well, it's Taurus season. And you might have noticed this particular year, um, Taurus is the bull, right? And uh, it, it, Taurus has to do with the material world. Um, things, you know, um, so I've been noticing there are a lot of wild animals around these parts. Uh, people have been talking about foxes in their backyard, and coyotes howling outside. We always usually have that anyway, but there seem to be more of them, and they're getting pretty brave. They're just Badge, beavers and badgers, not beavers. Right? Well, we do have beavers, but people have been saying they've seen geese walking around. You know, we have turkeys and animals walking down the street in the city, which is a rare sight usually. And of course, we have those divine diva dogs, determined dogs, getting braver sneaking our snacks around here, usurping our, our beds. <laughs> but um, I wanted to talk today about, um, you know, what, what do you search for? Like today, I was all determined I was going to get a lot of work done. I was going to work on my YouTube page. And I had all these things I wanted to do. Everybody around here is, is doing their thing. So I got I got my coffee and I got down there on my laptop. And what did I do? I ended up going and searching for you know clothes, which I usually don't even care about. But there were uh, my dad's birthdays this weekend, so we wanted to get him a shirt. So I was on the the store website and there were you know coupons, and I was like. I could get some new pants and this and that. And before I knew it, uh, my two hours of work time was just gone with nothing to show for it. And I kind of felt like I wanted that time back. I didn't feel particularly uplifted and I needed to go and work out to get rid of all those yayas. I mean, it wasn't as bad as wasting time driving to the store and wandering around and finding nothing, but still, it wasn't productive. It didn't feel good. So I wanted to uh, to follow that up 
with a, a little passage from Zazu that speaks to this topic um, in, the, in the chapter entitled Cleaning Troubles, Oil and Grumbles. So in this story I'm talking about how my husband had given me one of those essential oil diffusers and I was looking for I was my interest was piqued to see if I could find essential oils online and you know that site where you go and and they have all these little boxes with ideas and you know Pinterest they have all these wonderful you know creative things that people have posted up there and you know. so one such day I said curiosity peaked I began to search for essential oils online and and backed out of the rabbit hole three hours later mouth open and drooling onto my keyboard after clicking on square after colorful square of tantalizing cozy winter diffuser blends and magic oils for wealth and prosperity you must try now ending up on a page describing how to make my own dryer sheets the diffuser had long since beeped at me and fallen asleep out of steam my hands were sweaty my mouth was dry my contact lenses were stuck to my eyeball Scent possibilities tickled my olfactory fancy. There were so many oils, so little time. Okay. Anyway, so the rabbit hole, of course, being anyone who spent time online, it's 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 a, a reference to that Alice in Wonderland thing where you you know you go you go down this you follow one thing after the next and before you know it you're down in this this sort of fantasy world and you know where you forgot where you started because everything has led to the next thing and the next thing and before you know it you've lost control right so this is a time during Taurus um, when I am personally, uh, my intent is to focus or search for that which elates me after. In other words, uh, doing these videos, right? Spending time um, talking to you and, uh, or writing a story or just writing or journaling. Uh, I don't know what that big noise was, but anyway. Um, you know, the other day I had a nice actual phone call with a relative, a cousin I hadn't spoken to in ages. I didn't even recognize his voice. <laughs> it's like 50 now. Like, how does that blow your mind? You know, those kinds of things you you uh, you come out of and you're not blinking and you're con with your contacts. You know, but you you come out of it and you're like dancing around the house, going, "Wow, that was really something." And then you have so much energy, you want to do something else good, right? You want to maybe have a healthy snack or go for a walk or, or you're, you know, that feeling of being elated in, in a natural way, right? Not an artificial way, um, but something that fuels you, right? It's, uh, it's like filling up your car with gas, with supercharged premium gas, right? Um, so maybe you've been reading an uplifting book. I've had experience, people have told me that uh, reading Zazu gives them that feeling, that uplifting feeling, that it's time well spent with a good friend, and that it reminds you a little bit about yourself. Maybe you are the old friend who you need to spend time with. And uh, Zazu will take you there. It's a good kind of rabbit hole to go into, right? You don't have to read it all in one day. You can, it's, it's, the way Zazu is structured, it's it's into stories, right? So each story is an individual one, and you don't need you can just pick up anywhere. You can start at the beginning, read till the end. Um, you can read it all at one sitting, or you can have a little bit at a time and savor it, like fine chocolates, or you know a good TV show instead of streaming it, binging it all at once. Watch ten minutes a night. It'll be good for your discipline. And that's always a good thing, self-discipline. So your assignment is to track how you spend your time. 
and how you feel after. Not, you know, obsessively or anything. Just have a little, a little log and put, you know, online search for nothing in particular. 15 minutes. <laughs> Talk to a great old friend of mine. How I feel. Great. Surprised. Red Zazu Plaz. Awesome. I'm going to tell a friend about it. Yay. So until tomorrow, you've got your assignment. I hope you have an uplifting evening and a sparkling day. And I wish you light, love, and laughter. Till next time. Bye-bye.